so here I sit again. Um, RJ is at rodeo. He has fallen short by a dollar seventy of making finals. So he's off um, by the grace of God trying to place at tonight's rodeo and that will qualify him. Um, it's been a busy day. Uh, our local fair is going on. Tomorrow we've got the petting zoo or petting farm is what we call it. Um, and we'll be taking animals up there with the whole rental thing. I came up with this complicated yet kind of easy solution to getting the animals there. I'd ask a girlfriend to just come up and us have the trailer ready, her hook on it, and then drive to the fair. But it's really not that simple. She's got a four-year-old, she has to get to daycare, her husband to get off to work, plus she's at the fair and she has to be set up by nine o'clock with a butterfly tent. So, um, her stuff is half set up tonight and her and I swapped vehicles. She took my vehicle, the rental vehicle, took it to her house because it's exactly 11 miles from the fairgrounds to her house or 11 miles from the fairgrounds to my house. So, um, she took my truck, put her car seat in it and just took the baby, he went, swung by daycare, took the baby and went home and it. And then, um, I took her truck, which I, she's allowing me to hook up to the trailer so I can drive back there tomorrow. Then I get done at two and she gets done at like four. So I have from two to four to get back here, unload, drop the trailer and take her truck back up there and then we'll swap vehicles again. Complicated, I know, but it works and I'm not breaking any rules or laws or anything on what truck is hauling animals and what I'm using the truck for and all that stuff. So um, I went and got feed this morning. Then we went to the fair and delivered cakes, came up with this master scheme, <laughs> this master plan using the trucks, getting where we need to go, getting things done. Um, RJ did have to ride with a friend to the rodeo tonight. Um, so he is off with uh, a gentleman that lives up the road from us. And I'm gonna get some sleep because I'm gonna get up early with Lee. Bully Boy has started bloating a little bit. So every time you feed him, you have to let the air out. And uh, we've tubed him a couple of times, but we haven't figured out what's causing the bloat. I went to try and find some uh, bloat treatment, and apparently our feed store does not carry it. So I'm going to check another feed store on the way into town tomorrow and see if they would have anything. But right now he's pretty much hay and water. Um, and I've been giving him minerals because every time I give him milk, or even when we gave him a rest, anything that he has to suck in through the bottle, he bloats. So we're going out there, standing him up, getting him But We gotta figure out, we've gotta call into the vet. The vet was gone um, for a time being and then we got tied up and he was supposed to be in late this evening but I don't know if he called RJ back. So um, it's just, just kind of, crazy with him. I'm, I'm not figuring out what's causing the bloat. We've changed his diet a little bit. Um, put him on just hay and water and he did okay but still bloated. When he eats feed he still bloats and when he drinks his bottle he still bloats. So something is causing frothy bloat. Now a lot of times that'll be caused by dew on the grass in the morning. We've pulled him off the grass and he's not allowed to have it until the dew is gone because that's what we thought was causing his problems. We'll figure it out. Um, I just don't know at what point. So um, we're kind of trying to get his system lined out and I can't figure out what's causing the bloat. I've got to look and see. I'm going to look online before I go to bed and see if I can find a home remedy that actually works for bloat. Um, baking soda and water is what one person said and I put baking soda in his water bottles. So if that works, it probably should have already worked by now. So I don't know if it works. I don't, I, I, we're not having luck with it. So um, we'll keep plucking away at him. We'll figure it out. He's, he, can, he gets up, he walks around, gets relaxed. I went out there and checked on him and he's out laying down in a nice cool breeze. And he's fine. He just bloats every time you feed him. So you have to tube him and 
I need to figure out what's causing that. If something is, cows have four stomachs. So number one, I have to figure out what stomach the bloat is in, if that makes sense. And when we tubed in this last time, it seemed to be in two chambers. Um, but I can't say for definite because I don't have an x-ray machine. You know, I don't have a CAT scan. It's all done by feel. And um, this is going to sound really, but when I deflate him, um, you massage the stomach and kind of squeeze in. And depending on where my hand is when the air escapes, it tells you what chamber it's in. In a baby calf, those chambers are so small that you could be off a little bit. So, um, yeah. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to go to bed. I just got done checking in. He's fine. I'm going to go to bed. RJ will check in when he comes in, and then Leo will check in when he gets up. Ooh. Sorry. And then when I get up, I will be checking him as well. So We think we have it under control. Um, by the grace of God, we won't have any problems, and everything will go off without a hitch tomorrow. Um, so, anyway, I'm off of here. I haven't had a chance to work on anything else. Like I said, gut feed, did the fair stuff. Oh, yes, Miss Buttercup, um, in case you missed it on Facebook, Miss Buttercup the pig, her, um, they deemed them ornamental pumpkins, and she got second and third with her pumpkins. And a lady has already asked me if she could have the pumpkins so that she could get the seeds out of them. And I said, sure. I think she's got like a dozen more out there. And they just started laughing. So, um, anyway, we uh, did that. Some of my writings did really well. And it was judged by an author, a real author, um, a published author. So, I'm thinking, okay, I did good. <laughs> um, let's see. My crochet, I think, got first. My hat got second. Hello, they're against each other. So, my poncho got first and my hat got second. It's not a big fair. You know, shouldn't get so excited. Um, trying to think of what else. My soap got first. My yarn and my needle felting got first, I think. Um, trying to think of what else. There was a picture there that was taken by someone who came out here. And it got, I think, third or what, second or third. I don't know. We're going to get a picture of her with her picture of our picture, of our farm, however you want to say it. A picture that was taken out here was entered in the farm, so, in the fair, so, yeah. I don't know. It kind of touches everybody, so. All right, I'm off of here. I will, tomorrow we're going to try and go live from the fair. We will see how that goes. Um, and it'll probably be on Facebook, so. We'll see. I have not gone live on this new phone. I'm going to see about going and um, downloading something to maybe go live on YouTube, but I don't know. I, I haven't ever gone live on my phone for YouTube, so um, we'll see how it goes, and I'll see what happens. But I will catch y'all tomorrow.